proposal making its way through the state legislature could affect what you hear at sporting events all across the state, from T-ball all the way up to Lambeau Field. Yeah, the bill would require the national anthem to be played, and the assembly passed it in a bipartisan vote. Jason Calvi live tonight looking at what the proposal would mean in actual practice. Jason? Well, it would apply, as you said, from the little leagues all the way up to the big leagues. It says that any venue that used in its construction or in its maintenance, government money, this bill would apply to them. Before a sporting event could take place, they'd have to play the national anthem. Hey, can you see? The national anthem already hailed at some games in the Badger State. With more central little league all-star matchups. I think they really enjoy it. I mean, um, it's great seeing the kids lining up, you know, facing the flag, all the families, um, you know, different generations are singing it along. I mean, it's, I, I think it's a sense of pride and honor for the kids. But could they offer the Star Spangled Banner at every game? We're not um, set up logistically to do that. Um, I, I've got 10, 15 teams playing, three different parks, no sound systems, no ability to do that, minus us maybe singing it. The National Anthem Bill is the work of State Representative Tony Kurtz. It's obviously at a big Badger game, I, I would certainly hope you would play it. Uh, but yeah, if you're going to have intramural sports, I'm going to leave that up to them. You know, a large sports complex in a beautiful community, you know, they could play it beginning of all the day's activities. That's Kurtz, a 20-year veteran of the Army, says the spark for the bill was the Dallas Mavericks not playing it. The National Anthem, to me, gets us back to who we are as a people and honoring those that have paid the sacrifice. The Wisconsin Assembly vote was bipartisan, 74 for it, with 22 Democrats against. We have families that are really in a crunch when it comes to trying to bounce back economically after this pandemic. Uh, to focus on this is really frivolous. Now, the Assembly vote now sends this over to the state Senate. The Senate has not yet scheduled a hearing or a vote, but the sponsors of the bill say they're hopeful that this bill could be passed in June, sending it to the governor in time for July 4th. But still, we haven't heard back from the governor if he would sign this particular bill. We're live in Milwaukee. Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. All right, Jason, thanks.